Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida, and you're watching Maida Pores. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, welcome back, friend. So good to see you again. So um, obviously, this video is a little different than my normal videos. Um, if you've ever been here before, you know that. If, if you're not, if you haven't been, well, uh, this is this video is a little different. <laughs> And there is a reason for that. I, I will get into it. But first, let me tell you about what I am going to be painting today. This is going to be a pearl pour Dutch pour or a Dutch pour pearl pour, whatever order you want to say it in. Um, right now, I am just flooding these two canvases. This is going to be a diptych, meaning two canvases that are supposed to sort of flow together. And I usually cut out the this part of my painting process, just because I do consider flooding the base or spreading your paint out, whatever you want to call it, to be a little bit boring. But I did want to show you what I'm doing here, which is like letting one of the canvases drip on to the other one to avoid wasting paint. Um, if you are using two canvases, that is a great way to kind of just, I keep going back and forth um, and just do my best. I mean, of course, there's some wasted paint, but I do my best to um, pour the excess onto the other canvas and then eventually pour it back into the um, the container that I have. This is a pearl base that I have mixed up here that I'm getting laid on these canvases. If you are interested in how I mix that paint, I will link that video in the description. I do have a tutorial. I think I have two tutorials. Well, I've, I have two videos that talk about it. One that really is a true tutorial. So I will link that one in the description. And while I am getting these canvases flooded on screen, I'm just going to take a second to sort of apologize for how long I've been gone. There really is a reason for that. I spilled coffee all over my computer, guys. It was in my MacBook that I did all my editing on. And I've been trying to do editing on my other computer, which is a PC. And oh my goodness, the learning curve. I am I have, I don't know if you've noticed that most of my videos have not had any audio. And that is because I cannot, I just... I'm not good at editing on a PC, guys. So I'm working on getting a new computer. It's a work in progress. Um, <laughs> on that note, if you would like to support the channel, uh, memberships are open. It's only 99 cents a month. And if, and if, if enough of you uh, joined as a member for a few months, it would go a long way into me being able to get that new computer. <laughs> um, but uh, no pressure, guys. Just, just throwing it out there. Um, I am just about done flooding these canvases. Um, this, this video is sped up about two times speed. Um, it's a process getting canvases covered and I like to make sure my paint is very even, very smooth. Um, I have definitely tried lots of methods of spreading paint on a canvas. A lot of people like use a spatula and that works great, but I just, I've always preferred this method. And if I have two going where I can kind of go back and forth, you can see I'm pouring the excess um, into the container now, but it, it helps me not waste paint and then I don't feel so bad using this method. And yeah, um, I feel that it creates like the thinnest, most even coat possible, uh, which I really like when doing, well, any, any painting, any kind of pour that needs a base coat. <laughs> um, so, okay. So I am going to start laying down my colors here. So I miraculously found notes on what I was using. I, I painted this painting a while ago, guys. This is an old video um, that I'm just like, I'm going to figure it out and somehow get something uh, edited here. So that color I just laid down was Unbleached Titanium by Liquitex Basics. And now I'm drizzling on, this is Raw Umber, also by Liquitex Basics, just to add just, a, you know, a little depth and richness. I've been trying to lean into, or I, it's been a few months since I've been able to paint, mostly because I've been taking this online course, but um, an accounting class. I'm a bookkeeper, guys, in my other life. When I'm not painting, I'm like a bookkeeper. So <laughs> my boring uh, alter ego, the bookkeeper side of Meta. Um, so I... As you can see, I've laid these down in sort of a diamond shape, and that's just because I do want to blow these out, or I do blow these out sort of to flow into one another. And now I'm laying down, that is Payne's Gray by Golden Fluid Acrylic. I, of course, will put all of the colors in the description. I was really worried, guys. I thought I had lost all of my painting notes for this one, 
and I could not for the life of me remember what these colors were. <laughs> I mean, like visually I can make guesses, but I was like, th some of those greens and stuff, I was like, oh, which one was it? So this right here is Iridescent Gold Fine, which as y'all know is one of my favorite colors to use. I never get sick of this color. This is, I think, my all-time favorite gold, all-time favorite color, all-time favorite paint. Um, I just am drawn to it. I can't get enough of it. Now, this here is an Arteza. Um, it's pearl lime green, and it's an Arteza metallic. And really love this shade of green. There's another shade of uh, Arteza green, the pistachio green, that I love as well. Um, these Arteza paints are great. I really, this is on my list. I need to get more of both of the green colors I love of those. And now I'm coming in with my Quin Quinacridone Magenta, um, another iridescent gold fine paint, another favorite. Um, the way the Quinacridone Magenta, the iridescent gold fine, and the um, iridescent pearl fine, that's what I'm coming in with right now is the iridescent pearl fine. The way those blend together, I just, I think it's such, it's just gorgeous and I love it. And it's one of my favorite color combos. Highly recommend. Oh, and if you throw a little Payne's gray in there, you can't go wrong. And I think I'm coming in with some more gold because, you know, you never can have too much of the iridescent gold fine. That's my motto. So, <laughs> and now I'm coming in with the white. Um, this is just my satin enamel mix. Again, I will put that tutorial video of how I mix this paint in the description. I do have a very detailed tutorial that have helped a lot of people um, get this get this mix right. And on that note, I just want to say hello to everyone, all the new subscribers, because even though I have been MIA, and I'm blowing the paint over here, even though I've been MIA, guys, I have been getting a lot of support on this channel, and I can't, I'm sort of blown away. Thank you so much to any new subscribers. Maybe this is your first uh, notification you've gotten from me. Hello, thank you for subscribing. And I really appreciate every, each and every one of you and all of the kind comments that, I apologize, I have not had, I try, I will get caught up again, but it takes me, I can't, I can't answer comments as quickly as I would like. There's just a lot going on in life right now. But I took the day off today and I decided to spend it figuring out how to edit this dang video. So as I am blowing this out, I am just trying to make sure that each blowout sort of flows into the next. I just, I really wanted these two canvases to flow together in a beautiful way. Um, and stay tuned in the end of this video because I do, I show the dried results and so not just the dried, but like the fully finished results. Um, and it, I just, I think it really just came out beautifully um in the end now when i get back to painting because oh am i itching to paint guys i don't know if i'm going to be returning to this style you need to tell me what you want to see please let me know in the comments what you would like to see i am using my mini leaf blower here i love that little tool it's a fun tool you know i'll put a link to that tool in the comments too um you can get that on amazon it's great it's, it works really well to just add little details little flowies and this is a tube that um, I got. It's great. I'm using it like a giant straw. Um, and it's awesome. Works well. I always like to blow out the edges a little bit more. Um, I guess I decided I needed to use my blow dryer. What blow dryer is that? That is a little daisy blow dryer. It is a great blow dryer for Dutch pours. Um, and now this is a slightly different angle. I'm just adding a few more details, but I did speed this up a bit more because I wanted to see the pearls start forming at this stage. When you first blow it out, you might not see them. They take a while and they they don't completely overtake the color, but they do get nice and like juicy and it gives it a it gives it a really like ethereal, cloudy. I just really love the effect of pearls. If you didn't know, I'm slightly obsessed with pearls. Yeah. <laughs> If you hadn't figured that out yet. But um, but again, I want to hear what you want to say to you. Um, I, I need I need some feedback, guys. I need you to tell me. I should probably put up like a poll or something on my channel. I'm really bad at social media. I, I wish I was better at it. Um, but I just love sharing uh, how to paint. And I love sharing tips and stuff with you guys. Now, this is just, um, that's my motivation. But I'm bad at the other stuff. So this is just uh, a popsicle stick. One of my favorite tools to use, a popsicle stick. And I'm just pulling out little wisps. That's what I would call that. I'm pulling out little wisps of paint. 
I like I like Dutch boards to feel wispy, I guess. <laughs> but again, it's all sort of your own personal style. And I'm just like, you know, I'm, just, I'm having fun at this point, just seeing where I want to add just here and there and going, wanting this piece to have a very flowing and organic effect. Um, and I really, really do love how it turned out. I was very pleased. And I am about to come in and show you sort of the close up wet details here. But again, stay tuned to the very end because I do have the completely finished. Oh, sorry, my hand. I didn't do a good job at any of that. But here I am coming in. And you can see, I feel like it's just such, it's so delicate. Like it, it creates this um, almost translucent effect. Um, and I love those pearls. And the quinacridone magenta, this is what I was talking about. The quinacridone magenta mixed with that gold is just one of my favorite combos. And I, the iridescent pearl fine is, is in there. You don't really see it, but it does this blending thing. That's just fabulous. Okay, so here it is completely dry. This is 100% dry. This is actually varnished and I try, it's messed up. I'm pointing it out to you right here. It's messed up on the bottom because I am practicing a new varnishing technique, guys, and I decided I wasn't patient enough at the bottom and yeah, but this is going to go on my own also. Oh, well, um, it's all experimental. And just look how this piece dried. This is uh, just, I love it. Like I love how delicate, but also still vibrant and colorful it is. And I really do love the flow between the two canvases. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is my diptych. So I'm going to come in and, and just sort of take another pass while I say thank you so much for watching. You know, I appreciate it. I've missed you guys. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and uh, consider becoming a member to help me uh, get that new computer I need to get <laughs> so I can edit more videos. I'm just kidding. Only sort of. Okay. But thank you again, guys. You know, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.